Hey guys, what's going on? It's King Clutch here, and today guys, we're back on the NBA 2K21. I hope you guys are having a great day and everything's going well for you. Today what we're going to be doing is I'm going to be showing you guys how you can create Donovan Mitchell here in NBA 2K21. Real quick, I just want to hope you guys are having a safe, happy holiday too, wherever you're at. You know, how you're having a good time with your family, if you guys are spending it with. Um, I know with all the things going on in the world, it's hard to spend time with your family, but I still hope you guys are, if you are able to, or if you are not, you know, you're just hanging out with your people that are really, that you live with or whatever, you know, hope you're still having a good time with them. But either way, you're going to make this here a shooting guard, and I'm going to go right-handed, here's number 45 for Donovan Mitchell. He is a two guard, but for his height, guys, he is only 6'1". I always forget he's 6'1". I always think he's taller. To me, 6'1 isn't even that tall. Really, it's not. Like, I would think he'd be like 6'3", maybe, but like, it seems like maybe, like, him standing next to other players, he doesn't seem that much shorter. But that makes it even crazier, the things he's able to do. But his weight, guys, his weight is 215, 216, somewhere in there. I can't even go that high. The highest I can go is 210. Wing sprint is 610. Body shape, this doesn't really matter. Pick whatever you want. I'm going to go with the fine, but I'm going to leave these body settings like this. Now, for these attributes, guys, I'm going to go ahead and first touch the speed, excel, and the stamina all the way. And I feel like you could touch vertical too, but I'm just going to do that there at the end. So I think this is what I'm going to go with for this. We're going to get 16 finishing, 18 shooting, 10 playmaking, and four defensive badges. Now, there's a few things I'd like to tweak about this if I could. I'd like to have more defensive badges edges in a higher vertical but to me that's not the end of the world the way i'm looking at it is with this you're still able to do things defensively for defensive bad we get interceptor which is a big badge that i feel like he needs and then this way we can still play make we can shoot and we can drive donovan mitchell's hard because he can do a little bit of everything so you can take this build how you want it you can kind of mix it and put it towards your play style i mean that's kind of the way i look at it with this like if you want don't want as many shooting badges or as many finishing badges you could lower that and spend that into defense to get better defense but again that's up to you however you want to do it i'm gonna leave it like this though it's just hard because he's very well rounded. There's not like one category he's weak in. I chose to put this in defense with a weaker one, but you could pick any of the other three. And also, you could upgrade the vertical. I can't go any higher. I feel like speed and excel are more important than that, though. I'm going to leave it like this. So, for these takeovers again, this comes down to your play style. I'm going to give him finishing moves, and then I would say go with one of these shot creating takes. Probably pull up precision, limitless range. You could go with ankle breaking shots for the fun of it. Um, I'm going to go, I guess, with pull up precision, but you could pick whatever one you prefer. But we'll go with those two takeovers, guys. And for this build, we are going to be getting a scoring machine for our shades of. We're going to be getting right there Donovan Mitchell, Allen Iverson, and Bradley Beal. So I'm going to go ahead and show you guys the badges I would throw on this build. We'll bump this up to a 99 overall. Now, when it comes to these defensive badges, I'm going to go ahead and I'll put pickpocket on bronze. And then I'll also throw, where's interceptor? Interceptor on bronze. You can put ankle braces on here if you want. And then I'm going to actually put pickpocket up to silver. You don't need to do that, but I'm going to do it like that. You could mix and match those however you want. I'm going to go with those three. Um, you could use trapper too if you wanted. That could work. Tireless defender, pick dodger as well however you want to play it, but I'm going to go with those. Now, for these playmaking badges, I'm going to go ahead and put quick first step up to gold. We'll put Bela on bronze. I'm going to also put, we'll put space crater there on silver for now. I'm going to put ankle breaker up to gold. You don't need to do that. I feel like this build would be fun with ankle breaker, and then we'll put actually space crater up to gold as well. So we'll go like that for our playmaking badges. Now, for these shooting badges, I'm going to put Deadeye on silver. We'll put deep threes on gold. I'll put blinders on silver. I'm going to put circus trees on gold. You can use catch and shoot and corner if you want. I'm going to leave those off for now. And actually, I'll just put corner on bronze. Now, difficult shots, I'll throw up to Hall of Fame. We got three left. So with these last three, I feel like you can put these on catch and shoot. You can put them on volume shoot. Do we get volume shooter? You can put it on volume shooter too. Otherwise, just higher up these badges you already have. You could throw blinders up to Hall of Fame and do it that way. So I'll just do it like that. You could tweak these to how you want to play though, guys. Now, for these finishing badges, Posterizer, Hall of Fame for Donovan Mitchell. Fearless Finisher on Silver, Acrobat on Silver, Slithery Finisher on Silver, Pro Touch on Silver, Giant Slayer on Silver. Now, you can use Putback Boss in Lob City Finisher there on Bronze. Now, with these... With, with Lob City and Putback, I really don't think you need Putback Boss. I would put Lob City Finisher on Bronze, just so you have a better chance of finishing them, and then you could throw one of these up to gold if you wanted. So I'll put Fearless Finisher up to gold, but you could pick and choose. Um, if there's one of these you don't want, you could throw the other ones up to Hall of Fame. This is what I'm going to do, though, for these finishing badges. But this is how I feel like you guys can build this Donovan Mitchell build here in NBA 2K21. If you guys are new to the channel, please subscribe for more NBA 2K21 builds. But anyways, guys, it's been King Clutch here. Hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. Anyways, have a great day and peace out, guys. Thanks.